these records that she's put together for um, a period of, through the last deglacial, um, are really the only records that exist for the western side of the Sierras in terms of um, our rainfall patterns as climates warm and cool. So the, the message is that uh, when the um, high latitudes warm, like they are doing now and have been for the past few centuries, um, that there are connections through the atmosphere that means that we are impacted here, and in particular our water resources being impacted, in that when it warms in the high latitudes, it seems to go dry here. And when it is cooler in the high latitudes, it uh, is wetter here. Um, specifically, these dry periods are periods of um, long-lived mega droughts. We're talking century to centuries of, of timescales. So as we come out of the last ice age, um, what we call the last deglaciation or last deglacial, uh, we see the, that when it, it, the recurrence of cool periods up in the high uh, latitudes are associated with the recurrence of wet here. But it's the, the warming periods, that the, the repeated warming and the long warmings that we see through this deglacial that appear to be associated with periods of long-lived uh, decreased precipitation here in the Sierras. And given their time scale, these are centuries t uh, long, these would be these mega droughts that we prefer, we prefer to. There is a, a, a hypothesis that, or a model for how these, the high latitudes might be connected in terms of climate here in the mid latitudes of, of California. Uh, and if this model is correct, then yes, they're directly relevant. And the model being that um, as Arctic sea ice decreases, there it, the, it appears to be that the jet stream is highly impacted uh, and as the sea ice decreases, the jet stream moves northward permanently, meaning that we get decreased winter precipitation or winter storms. If that model is right, um, then it, it, it is directly uh, relevant in that we have been seeing decreasing Arctic sea ice at the rate of about 3% per decade for the last several decades. And many estimates are suggesting we may be even uh, permanently ice-free by the middle of this century. So if this model is right, then the connection is decreasing sea ice, pinning of the jet stream towards the north, maybe Canada, uh, and decreased rainfall. Um, and that would certainly have worked 10,000 years ago and would happen, would work for the future.